All right, so time to turn in that second side quest and finish up all of our business here in the second division of Hangsha before moving on to our actual objective here and finally getting rid of all this bell tower resistance. Now, uh, I gave subtle place. hints about this earlier in the game, but um, the the requirements for getting the achievement for this for this side quest are actually really specific and really obscure. You have to have the social enhancer in order to get this achievement. So I, I give you I give you guys a warning about it. But um, what we have to do is we have to inquire further about the purpose of this data chip that she wants. But if we don't have the social enhancer, she's just going to be pissed off. I'm not going to tell you anything. But if you have the social enhancer, it'll give you the option. Uh, it'll give us an option here. The only option we'll have is to... Uh, yeah, it'll, we automatically give it to her because we don't have the option to use the pheromone things. But if you use the beta, the, the beta social um, persuasion thingy on her then it will work and she'll tell you um, about the, um, the Hyron project which is something that we'll, we'll learn about later in the game and uh, it's a nice it's a nice touch it's a nice um, little look into later parts in the game before they're actually relevant and if you played the game before and this is your second time through then those um, the stuff that she tells you starts to make an awful lot of sense so um, we are ooh. I just wish I knew what this was we about. just dropped you into the wrong go side go. of town. I might uh, have to uh, just quietly walk away here. No, actually, uh, I'm going to save real quick because uh, I actually do need to get into this area. Conveniently, as usual, the, uh, the the quest giver is right by our actual main quest objective here. So what am I going to do to all these guys? I'm going to kill all of them. I'm just going to gun them all down right in front of the uh, all the civilians and all of uh, Bell Tower who might be around here. Uh, the thing is, though, is that I picked up this uh, submachine gun earlier, this machine pistol, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, use up the ammo that it has before selling it, because the Ventner is pretty close as well, because uh, I want to show off how good it can be with the, uh, the recoil reduction. So as you saw right there, I can only, only fired off a few shots per enemy and managed to get a uh, good kill on them. And this guy is heavy right here. Now, these are, these are technically a new enemy type, these Harvester guys. And usually, if you came here in the first visit, they would not be aggro towards you. But now they don't—they don't like you in their territory for some reason. But um, they can be pretty tough. They don't have as heavy armor as the uh, some of the bell tower guys do. But uh, they do have heavy variants like this that can take quite a beating. So I might want to have to use the magnum against him pretty soon here. Um, I do want to show off the uh, again. There's the combat rifle with the recoil reduction. I will show it off the uh, target seeking system as well. And um, nice thing about it is, in, obviously, as you can see, the um, we're immune to the EMP grenade that he just threw at us. But uh, the annoying thing about these guys is, all of them, regardless of how light armor they have, have camo. So all of them can go invisible, and that can be quite annoying in fighting them directly. So, um, like I said, these guys are pretty tough, pretty effective late en late game enemies. But um, yeah, there's a good demonstration of how awesome the recoil reduction is for a combat run, and if you're doing a full combat run, I highly recommend it. Uh, as, I, as I've demonstrated a few times now, um, avoiding combat is generally the way to go, and uh, doing a stealth combat run or a, or a stealth run, you don't need um, you don't really need to worry about it, but I got it just to demonstrate it. So um, we'll go ahead and loot all these guys, and then we'll go over to the vendor guy and sell the uh, excess stuff we don't need for the weapons we don't have or don't want. And then I might consider uh, moving around. Hopefully he's far enough away to where he, he will not be uh, frightened by this encounter. Whoops, went invisible there for some reason. But, um... Yeah, the, um... You'll see what I, got. I may want to carry around, re rearrange my setup a little bit and carry around the heavy rifle for a little while because I really want to demonstrate um, how effective the, um... I'm going to keep my Typhoon ammo for a change. I really want to demonstrate how uh, effective the heavy rifle can be with the uh, recoil reduction. Yeah, I will be right here. Let's see. I might have just barely enough room to carry it. I've got those frag mines as well. I need to use at some point. Everybody chill, it's just a gang war. Well, it's a, a gang versus a one-man army, but still. Uh, 
Okay, I need to drop something to be able to hold it. Um, you know, this this one shotgun pack right here of shells does not really have that many in it, so it won't, I won't really be able oh, to... It only has like two in it, I'll just go ahead and drop that. We'll go ahead and reload this baby so we can hold more rounds in the clip. And then we gotta hack our way into the Harvester's secret hideout. And we can only, I'm pretty sure we can only get into this area at this point in the game. We couldn't get in here earlier. So, um... Yeah, this is relevant to the main quest. This is how we gotta go to, to progress. So, maybe the Harvesters kidnapped uh, Sevchenko, wherever he is, and uh... Maybe they maybe they uh, have the rest of the scientists with them. It, it makes sense. I mean, they do have a lot of augmentations. Maybe they wanted them for some reason. But um, there's many different paths to this place, as there are with all the levels. But uh, I want to be showing off the the quickest way and also the stealthiest way. I mean, I will be doing a bit of combat to show off the heavy rifle as usual. But um, there's one particular junction where I want to show off combat right here. I want to hack my way to this and go down the stairwell. Because this can skip a huge chunk of the level that would otherwise be very difficult to navigate. Uh, this section, I want to go ahead and go down here real quick too so I can show off uh, how far down this goes. In fact, there's actually nothing down here. I mean, this would have been a good spot where this trash is to hide some loot maybe, but nothing. Nothing's there. Anyway, the um, there is some stuff I want to get in this area that we're going to be skipping, but I'll go back up and get it later on after uh, we don't have the harvesters to worry about because right now this area is pretty heavily fortified with uh, security and uh, guys that we don't want to have to fight so that's why I hacked my way down the stairwell so I can skip a lot of that stuff then we gotta hack our way through this our hacking is maxed out and uh, Access granted. really don't have to worry about it all that much Now this this whole place is essentially going to be like a parking garage to where we go down the multiple levels, so uh, we're always going to be going down. Now if you took the long way down, you'd come out around that door over there. We're coming out over here, which is um the more direct way to. But we we had to if we came down here from the beginning of the level, we would have to go through all that security stuff and sentry turrets and whatever. Well, that didn't go very well. I thought I could eliminate both of them silently. And then uh, get my way over here to this door, but I guess I'm gonna have to sprint for the door because they uh, were aggro towards me. So um, if you have the the punch through walls augmentation, is pretty useful in this area. I gotta say because you can skip an entire encounter by going over here. And there is some stuff in that second wall right there, but I want to go over here to the third wall because uh, this room right this is an alternate way into this room. Uh, sometimes if you don't if you don't aggro those guys, there'll be a guy standing up against the wall, and when you punch through it, you'll uh, you'll knock him out and kill him. And uh, that's the annoying thing about that is the fact that it is a lethal takedown. So if you're trying to do that, you're just to get through the wall while you're doing a pacifist run, you'll end up killing the guy, and it won't be um, you won't be able to get the uh, it won't register as a non-lethal takedown. So you won't, won't you'll have to wait for the guy to walk away from the wall so you don't kill him with that attack. Otherwise, you'll have to reload your checkpoint. Anyway, this room is very important because uh, there's a Hugh Darrow ebook in here, and also uh, if you let Malik die during the uh, the sequence when we first landed, landed here, or crash landed here rather, then uh, her body would have been collected by the harvesters apparently and brought here on, on top of this, uh, this autopsy table right here. And it's quite an unpleasant sight. I mean, it's not gory or anything, but it's like, my god, they just hauled her away and shoved her in this room. I mean, it's, 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 it's harsh, yeah. But um, another reason why I'm glad I saved her, but it's sort of like how uh, with, um, with uh, Zeke Sanders, if you kill him uh, when you first encounter him, and then you go to the morgue to get uh, the hacker's neuro hub, you'll see him lying on the table there as well. Dead Zeke Sanders, although I mentioned that already. So these guys are not... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight these guys. I could have sneaked past them because none of them were actually going in the right direction to notice me. But uh, I want to go ahead and fight them just so I can show off a little bit more combat in this area to mix things up again. Because like I said, I like to be as thorough as possible for the different kinds of runs. This, this bothers me to no end how much this thing scatters from blind fire, though. You're not widening the barrels by not aiming down the sights, Jensen. It's not going to make the gun scatter more by 
not looking in the general direction you're shooting in. But, you know, video game logic. Not gonna argue with that. I haven't been using this thing all that much, so I really don't care about using it at range, but, um... Yeah, needless to say, this is no Doom 2 double barrel shotgun. <laughs> I've actually been playing a lot of Doom 2 on the, uh... Xbox Live Arcade, and I've been having such a blast with that game. I really can't wait for a BFG edition to come out for Doom 3. I'm really, I'm pretty tempted to do that LP, honestly. This guy's taking a beating, though, from the shotgun here. Like, we're doing a pretty significant amount of damage, it's just he has a ridiculous amount of health and armor. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go and use some of my healing items as well. And here's the Typhoon, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, I get to demonstrate it. And, um, unfortunately none of the enemies that it killed, it killed on screen, so, um, but I still managed to kill two guys with it, so that's a demonstration of the Typhoon. It basically, uh, knocks everyone into the air and then blows them up. And it is badass. I love the Typhoon, it is so cool, it, it's such a cool effect, but it's not really all that, uh, necessary. And there's a, there's even an upgrade that increases the damage for taking out those, those, uh, security robots as well even some of the higher grade ones but um, that's completely unnecessary to me. I mean it's really awesome but it seems like it's total overkill because you'll never really get that many enemies grouped up together and uh, apparently it's really good at dealing damage to bosses as well because it's explosive and they can't get away from the animation once you've started it but um, I really don't think it's all that necessary like I said it's nice for one particular part in the game and I'll be showing that off that's why I went ahead and got it when I did because I didn't have anything else to get and um, like I said, it is good for that one part in the game. So um, Now this this one part right here is where I really wanted to do combat because I wanted to show off the heavy rifle with the recoil reduction. And just see how accurate it is now. Like these bullets do a crap ton of damage, but the fact that it's so accurate now is really what makes this thing a beast during uh, full combat runs. And that's why I, re I really like it. And um, sure it doesn't have a lot of ammo, but you can keep the barrel spinning at least while lightning tapping the trigger uh, if you want to. Uh, be ready for these guys to pop around the corner. There we go. So that ha that's the end of that level. I mean, I made short short work of that, but I basically just wanted to show off a little bit of stealth, a little bit of combat, quickest, shortest way through this level while still getting the Hugh Darrowy book. But there's, there's one more thing that we'll try to get here, but I'll show that off afterwards. That's far enough, Guaylo. Tong? You son of a bitch. You have got to be kidding me. Mind telling us where you found that arm? You disappoint me, Jensen. I thought we were friends. Then my hacker goes missing. Half my men end up dead. And you don't even have the manners to knock when you enter a room. A lot of bell tower heavies looking for you. And you reason I don't just turn you over. Yeah, Vasily Sevchenko. Never touch the stuff. You're wearing his arm. GPL device inside it, let me straight to you. Scavenged tech. Get you every time. Wrong woman, don't do that, you hear? Sorry to say, the man I got this from wasn't in a position to complain. Bell Tower gave us his corpse a few weeks ago. Bell Tower? Not Tai Yang? Either way, it looks like we were too late to save Sevchenko. People off my streets than giving me choice arg, so I close my eyes. Sevchenko had four other scientists with him. I'm not wearing any of them. So maybe they're still alive, and maybe I help you out with this. Go on. Bell Tower keeps two ships in port. They think nobody notices, but I keep an eye. Every couple of days, one of them loads up in the middle of the night and sails out. Heading where? A wise man doesn't ask. I just know the Heizen Su pulls out tonight. And where she make port, I bet you find your scientists. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth or anything, Tom. 
Why exactly are you telling me this? Bell Tower been a pain in my ass too long. I think you give them major pain back, plus interest. So sounds good to me. Inside this office, at the far end of the parking lot, level two, there's a door. It leads to sewers near the port. Not a very pleasant walk, but hey, this is Henshaw. Bell Tower runs tight security. How do you expect me to get on their ship? One of my boys will leave a package inside a locker for you in an equipment shed. You find it, we talk, and I tell you what to do next. I'll be waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. <laughs>